Well, hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, a neighborhood biography artist, and I'm drawing with Heavy. Dirty Santa. I knew you were going to say that. And today we're adding color to our teddy bear <laughs> ornament. I'm going to be using the Albert Durer watercolor uh, pencils. Now, I see I'm a bit off screen, so I'm going to move. There we go. Now I'm here. The lighting's always going to be different when the camera's down. And this way, so you guys can really see what we're doing. So I'm going to be using the, it's going to be hard to read probably. There's a glare. Albert Drewer watercolor pencils. I'm going to be using P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. This is the white you tend to see me use. And it's a bonus if you cut yourself with that paint. You don't bleed. <laughs> it's not that kind of bleed. Mm. Got the special cocoa. Nice and cinnamy. I'm going to very quickly remove the white charcoal that I have down. Let me be honest, I can't wait till today. I can't wait till this stream is over. Why? Because this beard is super itchy. Oh, I need to take photos while you're. Icky. Mm -hmm. To make sure. Now on the live on Sunday, I had already wiped this guy down with denatured alcohol. I'm just getting any remnants of graphite. All right. So I decided the hat was going to be red, the scarf's going to be red, and the ornament is going to be green. I just realized I didn't grab a yellow. So we have a new the... person in chat. She had. Uh, she has. Sahara. Hi, Key. I, I don't know. I think that would be the same. I don't know how to pronounce their name. Uh, I apologize. Does key, or key work? We'll go with Key. Yeah. If they're okay with it. I'm going to grab a yellow watercolor pencil real quick. Not that yellow really matters as much on wood. But I haven't decided if I'm going to use the gold after I spray this, the gold ink, to add the little topper, or if I'm going to skip that. Mm, Val Daniels is here now. Too. Hey Val. Oh, let's just say hi to Spence. Amy. And Spence, yes. Shirley. Carrie. You know I'm missing people. Uh, Where's the head? Where's the head? I'm looking. Andrea. Andrea. Sheila. You got Carrie, you got Shirley. Yep. That's it. Are any of our people in tornado areas? In tornado areas? Yes. Um, standing. None that are in right now that I know okay. of. Okay. That I know okay. of. And I do hope they're safe. Yeah, I just hope everybody's safe and warm. Yeah. Alrighty, so let's get started. That's very scary. <coughs> Oh, Carmen's here now, too. Hey, Carmen. Been in one as a kid, but never that big. <coughs> it was not that big. I saw one form once. It's it, scary. And it, it came down out of the clouds, and then it dissipated. And I remember the sky turned green, which was weird. It's the grass. Um, the that, was in, that was in Kentucky, too. Yep. Um, so I am using... No. Alabama. Alabama, yeah. yeah. The Karen Dosh palette, <coughs> one side is got texture to it, while the other side is, as you can see, super shiny. This side does great for watercolor pencils because, personally, I do not dip my watercolor pencils in water. Oh, be smart, move this. Some of this is going to actually have stained, which is no big deal. It's a palette. But I'm just with watercolors. You can reactivate. There we go. Just giving me some space to work. Okay. So I'm going to start with the red. And I think I pulled several reds because I wasn't sure what color I wanted. I'm just going to grab it. See, that's a deeper red. I kind of want a brighter red. That's not so bad. I also have to take into consideration the wood will slightly shift the color. There we go. So I think I'm going to use the scarlet red, deep. 
with two stars. And since I've already burned, I don't really have to worry about shading so much. What's the two stars? It is medium, um, light fast. Ah. Let's see here. Hmm. I can go between these two colors with your, the deep scarlet red and permanent mm. carmine. I never noticed they had the color names in German. Yeah, Faber Castell is German. It's a German company. Yeah. Alrighty, so I'm going to take some of the deep scarlet, just scratch it out, and you can see it pulls the pigment off the pencil. I wonder if I should zoom in real quick. Or just bring it up so you can see that it makes it kind of powdery. You can also use sandpaper, uh, like 400 grit, but you're going to lose some color, lose some pigment, but you could use, <coughs> excuse me, uh, wet dry 400. Mm. That way you can get a little wet. I'm actually going to spray some water off to the side away from my burning. I don't want it wet. So there's a little drop of water right there. Grab my paintbrush. Since we're doing the hat, I can go, I think, with a bigger one. So I'm going to take some water on my pencil, or on my paintbrush, sorry. <laughs> I need to squeak you up some. Get my arm out of the paint. And look at that. Now we have paint from powder. And then I can check the color real quick. Just to make sure that's what I want. Ooh, yeah, that's a pretty red. I like that one. Okay. So I'm going to take a paper uh, towel and pull some, just touch the base of my paintbrush to pull any excess water out because I don't want it on the wood. I'm gonna zoom in. Carmen, or uh, Val wants to know what the name of that palette is. It's uh, Karen Dosh. I do have it on my Amazon page. Um, <coughs> I think when I bought, this one was like $12 when I bought it. Um, I don't know what the current price is. I'm just gonna paint right over the burning and everything. Because watercolor pencils are transparent, we will still see the burn. Very careful. And because I'm not using heavy water, it's not running. And I can put a couple of coats of this on. And turn it so I can reach into the other side, pick up a little bit more paint. Get my hair out of the way. Make sure I'm not having any extra water. So it's more like dry brushing with a lot of pigment. Very carefully painting down. Now it's going to dry very quickly on wood. The wood's just going to soak it up. So I may have to do several layers to smooth it out. Here's the awesome thing about watercolor pencils. You can use them as colored pencils too. So I can use the same pencil if I wanted to and go back over it and use it like a colored pencil. Yeah, they got. I'm going to switch over because right now it's streaking. But I will smooth it out. And if I can't smooth it out because of the wood, then I'll use it as a color pencil. Problem solved. I'm going to rinse this brush real quick. Some water. Dry it off. Because I want to grab... I didn't grab a whole lot of pen, uh, paint brushes. But I need to be able to get into a little area. And then the more water I add to the paint, the thinning it'll thin out. So you gotta keep that in mind. More water, thinner paint. But I can also use. Normally you would use complement colors to darken, do some shading, or a darker color. 
because how this dries, I can use the same color to darken areas. Nice and smooth. Then I'm going to let this dry and add another color, the other color on top, just to give it some depth. You can still see our burning. And remember, it's going to kind of look a little flat on the wood, but then the minute I spray some UV varnish on it, the color is going to pop up. Mm. Ah. I used my paintbrush too much, so I'll just extend the cap. Are they right here? No. Alright. So yeah, the color will brighten up. The wood right now is soaking up the paint. Totally normal. That's how wood works. We can always add more. So the chat's uh, talking about that they're not seeing in vibrant colors, it's seeing dull colors. Yeah, they're going to be dull until I spray it. Okay. Until I spray it, they are going to look dull. Um, <coughs> we're trying to think what I've got color on that's already been sprayed. Hmm. Yep, totally normal. The wood does this. Just like sometimes your burning looks a little dull until you varnish it. It will pop a lot more. And I'll have to definitely post a photo once I spray it. I mean, I can pop out at the end and put a coat of UV spray. It's going to stink. I can spray it real quick. Just so we can see. Alright, let's let it dry. I could see why people would be a little stressed if they thought it was going to look like this. But it's not. It's not going to. Now this was really lightly burned on the hat. I'm just going to deepen up. I'm about to add that darker red. Spence says his wood ornaments wouldn't stop soaking up the varnish. Yeah. Even, even after <coughs> six coats. Six coats, I know. Oh, Carmen says the red looks dirty, just like dirty side of story that I didn't tell. <laughs> you're, go you're going to. You're I'll prepared. be telling it today. Let's see, that's the wrong red. I wasn't going to use that red. I'm, I'm wearing... The dirty Santa outfit. He is. Well, not completely. Cause I'm, I'm wearing pajamas. <laughs> yes, you were. But the top pajamas. half is authentic. So, Sonia's here. Hey, Sonia. Um, you're not that late, Sonia. No, just getting started. Yeah, I know it looks dirty, and I know that could freak people out. Deep breath. Now I just, I'm adding that permanent carmine. Oh, that is, that's actually, that. wow. That's a huge difference. Well, it's wet right now. And see, when I, var when I varnish, it's going to be closer uh, to I, that. Yeah, I understand. I'm just seeing where the shading is on. Sorry, the camera's right at my hand. Huh. So Val Daniels has a question. Mm -hmm. She's using uh, UV spray, the spray UV archival before sealing, and in a couple pieces she just recently finished. When she sprayed them with it, it gave it a milky coating to it. Milky coating. Um, I I might have the answer to this. Okay. All right. So I guess before I answer that, um, well, no, I'll just say it. So. Spray, um, depending on the manufacturer, can have different um, additives in it, and it can interact with the work. So if it's just the burning, you're gonna have to talk louder. They're right here. Okay. If if it's just the burning, um, I don't know. It might be carbon coming off of it and intermixing with it. 
or it could be um, it reacting if there's any color on it it could be reacting with the pigments um, or or there's a possibility that that spray was not mixed up well enough um, sometimes you really have to shake up those <coughs> cans if they're not if they're not mixed well enough sometimes they can come out milky so um, but it's it's the interaction it's usually the interaction between the spray and the in the surface how many coats did you spray and how long did you let it set in between sprays? Ah. Oh no, that's somebody else. <laughs> Burl's here, by the way. Hey, Burl. Let's see here. That's too pinky. Let's go ahead and move down to the scarf. I get, yeah, I'm, I'll spray this real quick. Um, I still need to sign the back of it, but I'll protect the back to make sure I can sign. Let's add. I had something similar happen to a piece. Sometimes. So I have a bet. I have an idea in yeah. regards to the wood. Yes. Now sometimes that milkiness will go away. If, if <laughs> Uh, and sometimes it won't. Uh, sometimes it, it means that it's not completely dry, and if it's not completely mixed, then there might not be enough of the um, component that helps it um, solidify. That it's in the mix, and it might stay that way for a little while. And do you remember what happened with the owl? Not really. The magazine owl? You don't remember? Uh, uh, the hell I went through because of that? I remember that you were upset. I don't remember <laughs> specifics. Okay. Tail end of the can. That does. That will matter yep. too. Uh, and did you let it fully, fully cure? And when I say like days of sitting. I actually had this happen. And... Though it's a different brand, Memwax did say that sometimes it doesn't mix properly and you have to let it fully, fully, fully uh, set. And even then there's no guarantee that it's going to clear up. I actually had to sand back my areas on a very time sensitive piece to get to the because I kept putting layers on top thinking oh, it'll just dry it'll just dry and it, it didn't I had to sand it down and reapply in those areas and that may unfortunately be something you have to look at doing sometimes it happens especially with the spray cans um, <clears throat> Follow the instructions of shaking for, a, it's easily two minutes straight. Shaking. You got to do it. And I would get one of those uh, spray gun handles. Since I started using that, I have zero issues. It keeps the pressure the same the whole time you're spraying. And it's easier to control. I don't think I have one in here. No, it's out in my garage. So I know this is looking light and looking a little dirty. But a couple of uh, coats of varnish will completely change that. So I put the lighter red on top of the darker red. It is starting to smooth out. Pull that in. Remember, we're painting on wood, so it does make a difference with the colors. Because right now, the color I'm using should look like that, but because we're on the wood and it's soaking it up, it doesn't look like that. Spence says, dirty sand of hair. <laughs> no, I will clean it up. The spray will clean it up, I promise. I promise. 
And if it doesn't, then I can just go back over it with the pencils. And remember, the burning also act, acts as a resist. Sometimes it won't sit. It'll sit on top of the burning instead of going into the wood. Oh, I see. Because it's... Because the wood's been damaged. It's been sealed off yeah. from the burn. So it will... Let's see here. I said that color was... <coughs> dark scarlet. It's coming. Where are my dark scarlet? Don't you hate when this happens? There it is. All the time. And so far I haven't, um, granted I haven't used all the pencils, I haven't had to sharpen because of how I'm doing it. Yeah. That was a little too much water. Pull it from my brush. Deep into the powder. Oh, Emma White is here. Hi, Emma. Um... go. See, this did cover the burn a bit over here, but I'm putting a lot of coats on it. So we'll do that. Remember, I'm, point, I'm doing this star green, so I can go ahead and fill in the scarf darker. I was thinking I needed to keep the colors se uh, a little bit separated, but I don't. Alright. We will come back to that. Let's do the green. Now, I can't do the white yet because this is water-based, so anything wet next to it is going to lift it. So I have to wait to the very end to use the white. I hadn't decided. I, I do want to bright green. I did decide that much. But I haven't decided what kind of bright green. Let's see what color this looks like. Let's see. You know what? That should work. Yep, I think that'll work. So this color is emerald green. Let's see if I can get it to shine. Bless. And it is a three star pencil. Which means it's fully light fast for a hundred years, at least a hundred years in an archival situations. That's, um, that's a long time. Yep. Or is it longer than a hundred? I'm trying to remember. It might be actually longer than a hundred. And the two stars a hundred. Spence said I plan to start my next year's Christmas gifts in April because it's too stressful when things yes. don't go how you plan. Yes. yes, yes. And how, Spence. Yep. And how. Hey. Same problem with me. So I'm actually going to go. I'm looking at my reference because <coughs> I'm going completely over the burn. I just need to make sure I'm going in the right area. There we go. Yeah, it does look really splotchy right now. I gotta fix it. Careful, because we got little areas. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in up here. I was waiting because of the red. Now that the red is, should be dry, it looked like it was, I can go ahead and do it. Okay. And if I go over the white where the highlight is, I'm not going to freak out because I, the uh, bleed proof white will totally cover it. Gotcha. So I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, Kathy Grimes is here now. Hi, Kathy. She says it looks awesome, though. Ah, thank you. I definitely see how it looks messy because of the color. Let's 
see here. Just checking my reference because we have some light burn down here. I I can't tell the story until Val says I can tell the story, Sheila. Oh. Well, I don't want to forget. We ran out of time on Sunday. Yeah. And I know that's why she's asking. Yeah, I know. That and for Carrie. <laughs> she wants Carrie to hear it. <clears throat> May have to do some darker green to kind of break up the color. It's looking kind of... Well, is everybody ready for Dirty Santa? Well, we're 30 minutes in. Well, if they're ready for Dirty Santa, you give them Dirty Santa. All right, I will wait for them to respond to see if they're ready. Give the peoples what they want. They want Dirty Santa. Never in my wildest dreams. <laughs> you think that would be... And I think that people would want that from me. <laughs> Gotta be real careful in here not to lose my whites. If you notice, I'm not having an issue with anything running. Who's Again, it's because it's not wet. Who's Emma? Huh? Somebody just welcomed an Emma in. You said Emma. Oh, Emma. <laughs> you said Emma! <laughs> I'm not used to seeing that. They're like, hey, Emma. Hi, Emma. Mm. Kathy. Is Kathy? Kath uh, you said Kathy already. Okay, okay. Catch up! There's so many people in. Catch up, old man. Catch up. I know. All right. Carmen wants to know, do you use different kinds of watercolor, or do you use one kind all the time? For my burnings... I use, when it, for watercolor pencils, I always use the Albert Drawer because they're light fast. Um, Karen Dodge, they have a super brand as well that's light fast. I can't remember what they're called. Love to have them, but they cost a lots of money. Lots and lots of money. Um, I will use watercolors sometimes. And then that's uh, Daniel Smith. M. Graham, uh, some Da Vinci, I'm trying to think of all the brands that I have. I have a lot of brands. Core, they're all artist grade <coughs> paints that I use. Because in my head, if I'm doing all, the, if I'm doing art. I want it to last. Although I will be reviewing um, some cheaper watercolor pencils and see how those go. Hopefully they work well uh, to get people started to see if they even want to add color to the burning. So the Albert Durers are the ones I use the most. I know there's a circle in here I kind of lost it. Paint it in. And right now, really, I am tinting the wood more than I'm actually painting the wood. But that's the goal, isn't it? For me, yeah. Because I want to see the burn. Yeah. And let's to see the burn. See that one a little waterier, so it's a little thinner. Let's see here, I got some white right here. And I pulled some of the white out, <coughs> meaning I didn't transfer all of the white because I thought it might be a little too much. Ah. Because there's a lot of white on this ornament and I pulled some of that white out mm. just to... Yeah, it's looking really cool so far. I will look, Carrie. I will look at your burning. I'm excited to see. All right, let's bring it in carefully. Uh, it looks like Spence and Kathy are the only ones that want to hear the thing. <gasps> They're the only ones that want to hear Dirty Santa? I think so. Oh, wow. Wow. Maybe they don't want to hear it. 
Well, some of them don't know what Dirty Santa is, and it is not sexual. So if you've got children in the war room, is actually a good lesson for them. Not sexual. I know it sounds bad, but it is child safe. In fact, it's about a child. Yeah. I mean, Amy is patiently waiting. Oh, okay. Sheila gives a thumbs up. Okay, I guess. Get, 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 just I guess they do. Jump in. I guess they do. Oops. So what what year was this anyway? Because I was in sculpture class. About three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah, I guess so. All right. So I'm gonna. I take my glasses off because. Make sure you talk well enough. Because I want to have the same appearance that I did when I walked in the store. So. Um. Every December, on December 1st, I start wearing a Santa hat everywhere I go. It doesn't matter. And, um, and then at that time, three years ago, you know, I was still in school. And I was getting my degree. And I was in sculpture class. Well, when you're doing sculpture, there's a lot of welding involved. And so, you know, I, I have... I don't know. It's not that same jacket. It is. Oh, the shirt. The, the shirt, shirt is, is the same. same. Yeah, so there's holes, and what happens is that you get these little sparks that fly off, um, and they burn holes in your clothes. So you're supposed to wear cotton clothes and, you know, a couple layers. Things and, you don't care about. And it's also a lot of soot, you know, so, you know, my after sculpture class, my face is kind of dirty, too. Um, but I needed to go to the store to pick up some things before I came home. And so that's what my plan was. And so I was dressed just like this. Actually, this exact shirt and <coughs> a very similar jacket. It was checkered like this. I had white and black. So, and I hadn't shaved. So I was in this mode, you know, where I got like the white beard. My beard used to be red. Now it's white. No, it wasn't red. It used to be. Yeah, it used no, to I be. I never saw it red. No, cause the, because by the time that I was growing out my beard, <laughs> when we got together, You're old. it was what? Hey. <laughs> Tell the story. Tell the story. You don't yeah, have to go into all that. All right, I'm watching you. Tell anyway, the story. So I go to Walmart, and I'm not thinking of anything. I'm just thinking about the stuff that I'm going to get. I go to get a shopping cart. <clears throat> I'm pulling the shopping cart out, and there's this uh, mom, and she's got a little girl sitting in the shopping cart, and I don't know how old she was, like four or five or something like that, and she's sitting in the child seat, you know, like facing her mom, you know, by the handlebars of the shopping cart, and um, so she gets, uh, I, I see her. And she sees me, and she gets this really surprised look on her face, and she's like, huh, Mom, it's Santa. And, you know, I, I'm a little surprised because, you know, there's a little kid talking to me. And, <laughs> um, and I'm in my head. And But Mom, you know, I, I look at Mom, you know, because I'm like, well, is this, is this going to be okay, <laughs> you know? And... Uh, and mom smiles like, "Oh, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have us a very special moment." Well, we are gonna have a special moment, but not like, not like we thought. But um, so I smiled, little girl, and then she looks at me, right, and he, she's like all like starstruck. But then she kind of changes and she starts looking at me, and she goes, "You're not Santa," and, I, and, I, and I'm like holding onto my shopping cart. And I'm like, oh, "What's gonna happen here?" And she's like, you're too dirty. And she points at me. She goes, you're a dirty Santa. <laughs> and uh, and her mom, her mom, because because when she said that, I was like, you know, I don't know what to say. And then, but I looked at her mom and her mom's like, you know, like she's mortified that her child's doing this. And, uh, and so, but she said this really loud and her mom's like, you know, don't say that, you know, it's, you know, and I'm like, it's okay. It's it's all right. She's you know, she's little. But she was this little girl was really fixated on me, and she was like, she was looking. But mom, it's it's it's, he's dirty. He's a dirty Santa, and she's saying it really loud, right, in Walmart, and um, and so mom didn't know what to do. So she was like, she tried to kind of like get in between me and her daughter because we were both driving. Both of us were driving our shopping carts away, you know, at this point, and into the store. And the little girl was like, 
trying to get around her mom so that she could point me out I'm like mom but there he is he's a dirty santa and and uh and her mom is like no stop it stop it you know and uh and so they're arguing right and, I, and we kind of split at that point because i was like oh boy you know i was expecting security to come out or something like you know um but uh that didn't happen anyway but so I, I was in the store shopping for like 30 minutes and since we both entered the store at the same time you know our paths were bound to cross and i could tell when our when we were in the same vicinity because the little girl would shout out really loud there he is it's dirty santa <laughs> And his, and her mother would be like, stop it right now! <laughs> and, like, trying to get her child, but mom, he's right there! It's Dirty Santa! <laughs> and you're in so much trouble! Anyway, so this happened, like, three or four times. But, um, so, yeah, so I, I, I got done with my shopping, and I got out of the store, and I got home, and I looked, Just to get looked laughed at, my, at again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I told her the story, and, and that was, like... The end. Yeah, the end of her sanity. <laughs> but, um, I looked at myself in the mirror, because, you know, I don't know. And I could see, I was like, oh, yeah, I got sit all over my face and stuff. And, and you know, I just really hadn't thought about it. <laughs> you know, So I'm a lot more careful when I go to Walmart now, because you never know who you're going to run into. I feel sorry for that poor mom, though. Because I would love for you to run into her. I would love to, Years too. Years later. I would love to, too, you know, just so that we could have a laugh and I could clear the air and be like, <laughs> look, no, it's actually, actually, it, it started a tradition. It so, did. So, you know. And I hope it's a tradition they tell the I, family. I can't and... see how it wouldn't be, you know, because that was like for the mother. Like, if it had been me, I that would be a scarring moment. Your child's like pointing at, <laughs> screaming at a stranger that they're dirty, you know. So, um, I think he felt mad because he felt tricked. The the little girl. Yes, that you were trying to pull off Santa. I didn't. You know, I don't she know. She not knowing. There was a little anger there, but it was mostly like just fascination. Like she just. Couldn't wait to point me out, you know, around the store. And the first thing I said was, you should have told her you were building, you've been making, work, working in the workshop, breaking up coal for bad little kids. And she would have immediately shut up. Woulda, shoulda, coulda, you know, but it didn't happen, so. <laughs> so every year. So every year we tell the story of Dirty Santa, and no, it's not a. It's not a dirty story in no. that regard. No. Right. And somewhere there's a child who is I know, still probably pretty little. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm sure her mother remembers. You know. How can she not? Yeah. I'm sure her mother remembers. What I'm doing right now is just adding some darker green just to kind of break it up. So now you know about Dirty Santa. Yep. And Greg's here. Hey, Greg, you just missed Dirty Santa. Uh, Kathy says, now my Christmas can begin. Exactly. I am doing something special for Dirty Santa. I'm confused. Oh, no, I know what you're doing. <laughs> I thought, are you, are you talking about me, the person, no. or the character of Dirty Santa, or no. just something about it? And yes, I know what you're talking about. about. I know what you're talking about. All right. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm just trying to add a little bit more dark. So I switched colors over to, what did I switch to? I switched over to cobalt green. So I'm using cobalt green and emerald green. And I went with cobalt because it has a little blue tint, but because I'm on wood, it's gonna calm down that blue. So that's why I made that choice. I know the Super Toasties love Dirty Santa.
But one of these days, how awesome would it be that the little girl grows up and decides to go onto that ancient website called YouTube mm. and sees her story? Well, I mean, if we, if, I don't know if we have a post that says Dirty Santa. Yeah, we made a Dirty Santa last but, year. But, you know, I'm sure there's plenty of people that have experienced Sur- something searched that and been like oh right dirty sand. oh yeah and then we're like very disappointed that it wasn't you know something dirty dirty so all righty so i think maybe at some point i if i do a maybe if i <laughs> tell the story on youtube then like, post it like my encounter in walmart or something like that she'd yeah. be more likely to find it i agree with you Let's see what she's going to say. Yeah, you know, and it's one of those surreal things that happens, and it's like, well, <laughs> did that really just happen, you know? But, um, but yeah, but it, it was actually really, really interesting in, in the worst way, you know? Yeah. This one's called Dark Naples, and I'm just using it... For a little bit of the top, again, I don't know if um, I'll add gold to the top or not once I have some uh, varnish on it. Then This is really just going to tint the wood. Kathy wants to know if we're going to be live next week. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, we always go live even the week of Christmas. Maybe we'll just drink eggnog and whiskey. Well, I've done Q and A, and we've listened to music, and <coughs> we may be setting up. You guys may be watching me set up a test board because I need to test those pencils, but I have to do a specific test board <coughs> in order to do that. So maybe I'll show you how I make my test boards. Now, yellow is really not gonna overly stand out. What I could do to make it brighter is add some yellow to this bleed proof white and it would stand out. Now, I'm not gonna worry too much. Paint over the white areas so that all I have to do is add some dots if I want. See how much yellow just really blends into to wood. And they're too close in tonal value. Mm. So but I needed to get it in there in order to, so we could start on the white. Because the white and the varnish is where this is really going to pop. Thank you all for the thumbs ups. We appreciate it. It helps yeah. us. I'm going to throw some cream down and see if I can get a little lighter. Jeez, can these guys talk any louder? Yeah, I know. Huh. I'm trying to ignore them. Not a happy camper. I know. All right. Let's see here. Well, yeah, the cream does show. Once you put the dark color down, the cream shows a little bit more. Well, something happened. All righty. Remember, it's going to be brighter until it dries. We could see with a little damp brush if I can blend out this red a little bit. See when it gets wet. You know, I appreciate the two thumbs up because we talked about that, you know, like it'd be nice to be able to give two thumbs up. Yeah. So they're, they're giving two thumbs up in chat. So oh, I appreciate thank you. It. That's cool. So there, I just re wet some of the color. And smooth it out a little bit because there's so much color sitting on top of the wood right now. I'm able to do that, but always make sure there's no wet drops, which drops of water are wet, but no drops of water on your uh, ferrule because it will drip onto your wood and you'll be so upset if that's not what you were going for. I'm just pulling some of the pigment up. Just to smooth it out a little bit. Dogs are something big's happening. Howling in the sirens. Yeah. It's funny we didn't used to have dogs that did that. 
Yeah. And Sasha sometimes. Well, Sasha, Sasha would. Her big thing was telephones, but we didn't. We she didn't do that with the cell phones. Smooth it out. But you see, the minute I got it wet, it got brighter. Guess how it's gonna happen. <coughs> Again, no water on the ferrule. And I can move it around and blend it a little bit. Pull some of it off the burning if I want. But see, it automatically darkened just by getting wet. And then it's going to light and dry. And then the varnish is going to bring it back. Push it in a little bit more. Yeah, see, we can see the, the change in the color until it dries. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do our white so I can spray real quick for everybody. Put in my brush. Should I, so should I mic them so they can just embarrass themselves for everybody? I don't know. If they talk any louder, we're going to have to do release forms for them. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Open the windows, ask them to yell yeah. at them to sign a release form because yeah. they've now been recorded. Yeah. Not that we have to, but anyway. All right, so I'm just using a little plastic palette. It's a lot easier. And I'm actually going to spray. Oh, that's a little too much water. Spray a little bit of water in here so I can dip. This stuff always gets dry and thick. It always does that. Totally normal. Grab a toothpick, or you can use a paintbrush. Give it a little bit of stir. See, it's really, really thick. Totally normal. Now I can put water in here. Or I can take what's on the paint on the toothpick and just kind of put it in the palette carefully without knocking this off in the moment. Is it supposed to be that thick? Yep. Wow. That's just the way it is. That is like really thick. It is. I'm going to pull a little bit more with the paintbrush. It looks like, you know what it reminds me of? What? White out. A little bit, but this is, like I said, this is water based. Um, so it's like a gouache, or it is a gouache, one of the two. But it's just really bright and solid yeah and I, and I think now that i think about it because I, I never really thought about it when you know we were still using typewriters and using correction fluid mm -hmm. but i'm pretty sure that that white out or correction fluid is gouache probably because yeah. of how it acts it seems to me like it, it's very much gouache yeah so this is the fur of the hat and i'm just tapping if the paintbrush kind of separates a little bit, I actually want that because it gives us more of our fur texture mm. for the hat. Let's start. Wow, that is very bright. It is. Start at the bottom. Start moving up. So things are overlapping. And this can be wet too and kind of moved around or wiped off. If you go a little crazy, so see, I can put a little bit of water on my brush, wipe it, and start moving around what's already on the wood. Mm. But it will cover. Who's that? Spencer. Is he telling us they're loud outside? No, he actually he sent a picture of this is how it looks on his screen. Oh, awesome. That's cool. Um, I guess he, he's feeling like it's a little washed out. Oh, but it's probably the lights. Yeah. Oh, the piece. Yeah, it's look. There we go. Yeah, it looks kind of washed out. It'll brighten up. I promise it'll brighten up. Hang in there with me. Hang in there. Don't leave me. We'll get it fixed. We'll get it fixed. Go. That is very bright. I'm actually mm -hmm. really impressed with that. Let's see here. 
Again, I just have a little bit of water there. Just enough to... And we're buffering. I don't see... It. Oh. We were. We are now again. <sighs> Let me try to hurry up then. Okay. So I can get this in, because I really do want to spray it for them. All right. Sorry about the buffering. We do have weather coming in. Yeah. We have a big storm coming in. And the winds are supposed to get crazy. Well, at altitude, they're already crazy. The yeah. clouds are whipping by. Are they? Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Now, I had some shading in here. I'm not going to worry about it. So here we go. We got a Santa hat on a teddy bear. And wipe some of the paint off just to... See, if you go too thin, you will see the wood. So, total personal choice. Let's see here. Let's get this. And once I spray, I won't be able to darken the bear, which I really can't anyway because of that color. So, it won't have to be okay. See, I watered it down here, so I'm going to darken it up or brighten it up by adding more straight paint, and then I'll have a little bit more dimension. You know, what's interesting to me, and it's always interesting to me because I like contrast, is that by adding the contrast of the of the white, it actually gave the impression of the hat being much darker. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just bear with me. I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> bear with you? <laughs> yes, I'm going to grab a little thicker paint. Just so. Because Chad, I've been... Chad hasn't noticed buffering. Oh, very good. So, I guess just because I'm on my game, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the outer line first. And if I wanted to tint the color, I could take some of the, the watercolor pigment that I have on my palette. And add it with the white and tint the white to get a different color. Man, Pearl's been quiet. Normally she's well, talking. She may be working. She may be working. Okay. All right, so let's get this line in here. I know it's gray in the photo, but I don't want it gray. Oh, excuse me. It's from the paintbrush. Oh. Uh, Kathy wants to know what product you're using on the fur. On the f that's a bleed proof white, right? Yep, that's yeah. Dr. Martin's bleed proof white. Yep. Make sure that thing goes on my hands, so I'm touching the wood and then. Is it? Trying oh, it's Dr. P.H. Martin. Yeah. So I was thinking, it's like, hmm, Dr. Martin, is that like the same guy as for Doc Martin? <laughs> Did they make paint and boots? No, I don't think so. See, I got but a little. It's not the same. Yeah. Got a little bit of the a loose hair on the paintbrush, so I'm gonna grab another little bit of paintbrush. Oh, <laughs> but, no. sister pony wouldn't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he know? Doesn't Terry know? Right. I'm trying to grab a really skinny brush. There we go. These are like really. Skinny, skinny. Well, I'm glad you guys haven't seen the buffering in general. I mean, Carrie said that there was some intermittent for him. But I'm sorry. I'm glad the rest of the chat hasn't noticed. So. All right. Let's go back to where we were. And see, these are bent a little bit because they're used for miniatures. And for what we're doing, it actually helps. Actually helps. Hold them a breath. You know how cool it is that the Toasties show up and hang out with us? Oh, I know. That's really cool. That's, That's really why I always amazing. get upset when I... It's really amazing to me. Don't have a choice but counseling alive. That's why I get upset. Uh, yeah, I know. And she really does. She gets very upset. Do you need that? Mm. Just throwing stuff again. It bumped. Thank you. There you go. Okay. This paint burnt's making it easier. 
Really small area. I'm trying not to shake. I always shake. If you saw my hands, like, you wouldn't think that I was an artist. I mean, because I, I am super shaky. I'm also drinking hot cocoa. I haven't had any, except in a while, but... Oh, you should do that. I, I will. I will. Let me try to fix this line. It's not like it's a perfect line on the glass. Well, we can see how the color is already changing just by adding the white. Yep. It also seems like <coughs> I need to add something to the bear because of it, too. Since I can't burn anything. I don't know. I like the bear. Well, I know the bear will darken up a little bit as well. Well, it, it will. And it should have that nice warm color. I would think. <laughs> Beryl says her voice was louder than Belle's. Are you doing any highlights on the gold? Yeah, I'm gonna put a couple of draw, dots, I think. Okay. Because it's not like it really needs to stand out, but it does. Whoa. It's kicking up. Oh, hold on, let's see if they can hear it. Um, Marcel Hurley is Hi, here Marcel. and says, love this and hey oh, everyone. Okay, you. You Marcel. It's so nice when we see um, new people. Yes, I know who popping up, saying hi. Well, I scared the last guy away. I think last week. I don't remember why, but I do. Special coffee. I, don't I do know. remember that it was appropriate that he was scared. Oh, I had too much sugar. That's what it yes. was. Yes. This one just hasn't kicked in yet. Marshall says the wind sounds fierce. <sighs> hasn't ah. even really started. That was going through my window. My window's closed, but the angle it was going through the glass. Yeah. Carmen says, it's kind of cool to be chatting with people from all over. Yeah. And for her, she's still learning. So when I learn something new, and she learns something new every life. Oh, grateful absolutely. to have you do the life. Well, thank you. that's why Valerie does them. And I do them because I am hubcapped. I am the decorative part I of the tire. I am the It goes up. round and round and round. Let's see here. Trying to smooth this one out. See, I'm getting into the thinner paint. I think I might have to put... A little bit more on. Well, thank you, Carrie. Yes, uh, Valerie does give her time, and um, she's very, she's very appreciative when people are here. Oh yeah. As, as am I. So you are most welcome. Kathy is wondering if she could use an acrylic white paint sure. watered down yep. with some mica yep. powder. You absolutely can. You absolutely can. Spence likes the sound of the wind. So. I don't like it in my face. I have a hard time with it in my face. And I love it. Well, you are an air baby, as it is. And I am not. I am a water baby. Ash Kusanagi is here. Hi, Ash. Cool name. Um, so happy to be with you live today. Thank You're you for joining happy. us, Ash. Happy to have you. Ash Kusanagi. That sounds like a ninja. I could ask him if, he, if if Ash is a ninja, but he won't be able to tell me. <laughs> that's secret information. Secret information. So I'm just going to assume that he is. So. And I, I pulled some more paint from the container, so I'm going to wipe it off the base. There we go. Fold my paper towels so I don't get it all over me. There we go. Yeah, I need to have some more out. <clears throat> I do like these paint brushes. It does make it easier to do some stuff. Sheila says, I watered down some acrylic once, but boy, you could see the wood through it. Yeah, you do. Um, most <coughs> acrylics, well, that's, that's the thing. It acts like a stain when you do that. Yeah, and then, like, if you want to, like, increase the opacity, the viscosity of the um, acrylic, there's there's acrylic bases that you can add that will thin it, thin it out without making it watery. Binders. Yeah, and so you might look into that if that's what you're looking for. 
Uh, Ash Kusanagi is in France. Ooh. I won't. I won't do my French accent because I think that really upsets Valerie. It doesn't upset me. I just don't want it to upset anybody else. It might not be a very accurate French accent. Yeah, I guess you do more French Canadian. Uh, probably. I I learned all my accents from Monty Python, so if that's any indication. Alrighty. Got some white in there, so that changes it again. Really stands out with the white. <coughs> wow, that's that is really white. And that's good. Well, for the ornament, if if I was doing it for anything else, I think I would add some paint to it. But I do need <laughs> I thought that, there. I thought that was a, a mistype, Kathy. See, that's pretty bright for the eye shine, so I'm going to take a paper towel, go straight down, don't move it, and lift it straight back up just to thin it out a little bit. Gotcha. And then you asked me about the gold. So you just dabbed it. I dabbed. Yeah, you dabbed it. Yes. So dabbing, so like that. I dabbed. Ash says, I watch each video, but I'm not often here when you're live. Oh, I really appreciate that. Well, I'm glad that. you could make it. Happy holidays, and thank you for watching the videos. That really helps. Yes, it really it helps does. us out. And it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, we got a little bit of white. I may go back over that with gold, or I may not even worry about it. But I can spray and go back over with the gold, so. That's looking really striking it's now. It's not going to. I really gonna like it. See if I need it anywhere else. I might need a little bit more white. See, I kind of lost my, any kind of shadows in the white. Kathy likes the wind, except when you have to straighten up the Christmas decorations. Ours can't go up tonight for that reason. I was thinking, do you, do you think that, um, do you want me to unplug the, the blow-ups? I, th I thought about that too, but we've got things in so many different places that... Uh, it would be, e well, it would be easy for me to get the ones that shine on the... This side, over by the snowman, because there's only one plug there. It would just be unplugging the snowman. And then the, the star lights would be on the house. Okay, I'm going to quickly see if I can tint the white with a little bit of green in order to make a shadow. See how it changed the color of the white a little bit? Mm-hmm. Again, thank you so much for all the likes. We appreciate it very much. It helps us grow. And it's a small channel. And pyrography. big heart. Pyrography is such a, um, a specific field of study. And so every like that we get really helps. So I can actually tone down for the screen. What green do they use? Yes, uh, Marshall. We are under a winter weather warning, and it's supposed to get quite windy and hopefully yeah. snowy. It's fact, only supposed to be four to six inches. In fact, I I, I will be going to the store <coughs> probably after lunch, or do you want me to go before lunch? After. After, okay. And just because we get snow regularly but around here we have a lot of visitors from other places and New they don't know how to drive school. in the snow so uh, i come from alaska i'm used to the snow but i also know when to stay out of everybody's way because they don't know what they're doing yep. so and then plus this is a chance for the city to use its snow plows and they get really excited about it so <laughs> anytime we get a half an inch and they're like we have to do this now well it's because of the get ice. the plows out of the ice. It's snow Magadan. It's because of the ice. I know. See, I'm putting a little bit of the white over the green and it's picking it up a little bit as well because it's wet. Which is good because I actually forgot some of the white highlights in the um, box. Ash says say hello to Pat if you're in I contact will. these days, which she is. And Well, it, I haven't talked to him in few weeks yeah, well it's holidays everybody's busy yeah and ash it is a perfect sentence so no worries marshall loves snow oh i do well too. you're in good company 
I wouldn't talk to Burl about that though. <laughs> Burl does not like the snow. He was he's he was in Hawaii right now. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. All right. It, I'm, if, if Burl watches Christmas with the cranks, she probably gets really upset. She's like, "They ruined it. They ruined it for him." Should have been on that trip. Should have been on the cruise. Yeah. All righty. So we got a little bit. I'm just looking for the. He has to give it shape. Carmen says they have negative 19 and snowing in northern Alberta. And Burl does have snow, more is predicted. So I don't miss those really cold temperatures, though. Like, mm. I, when you go outside and your skin hurts because it's cold, it's, it's too much. And that's where I grew up. I did not like that. A little bit of shine here. Put a little bit of shine here there we go not in canada no Oops. alaska i grew up in alaska now should i put snow or highlight on ezra's name <coughs> excuse I don't know. me if you want i don't know i think it's fine the way it is i like it being dark like that i'm gonna get ready to spray it so they can see Oh, Carrie's just got rain and more rain. Well, if it's not going to snow, I want it to rain. Or if it's in the summer, I want it to rain. <laughs> Let's be real. You'd like it to snow always. No, only when we end in a break. You know I don't like you know how I Nar- don't like dirty snow. You know how in Narnia, when the, the white witch came and turned the land to winter eternally, and everybody was so sad? Valerie would not have been a sad person in Narnia. I would have been a She'd have been like, yay. Yay. Way queen, yay. It's more snow. More snow. I'm just trying to smooth out my white. So that I can go spray it. Are you... Mm. I'm just going to spray it outside the door. Oh, okay. I'm not, like, fully leaving the room. I'm just spraying it outside of my studio. Gotcha. It's still going to smell. All right, let me see if I can find a box real fast. I use, I reuse boxes and put the burning in there to spray. All right. So we're ready before the, for the, before? Do I need, I mean, I can add more color even once I spray. So that's Aren't you worried about it drying or is it already dry? Yeah, it dries fast. Okay. No worries there. Let me find a, a box very quick. I'll back out. You can see my mess. When they find the box. And I will entertain ah, them. Ah, oh, oh, I'm sorry. You need a box right there. I need a box right here. So, oh God, Spence, just. <laughs> I'm showing that. Um, Spence just did snow emojis for you. Did what? Well, look at the chat. He did snow emojis for you. <laughs> Makes me happy. All right. See, my spray is downstairs for you, V. Hey, just don't. What is it? Clear. Gloss. This is a brand new camera. So I'm just using a box like this. And I will take the burning. Sometimes, if it'll slide around, I'll put a tack in there to hold it. But I'm just using it as an angle, which you're not going to see. I forgot something. There's one more thing I need. Behind my ta- drawing tablet, mm-hmm. there's a piece of foam, styrofoam. Styrofoam. Yep. Okay. This foam? Yep. That would be it. Okay. You're going to prop it up? Yep. Okay. Take the spider webs off of it. So there, I do, I do prop it up with styrofoam again. So I'm reusing, and I gotta run down the stairs to uh, dance for the people. Dance for the people. Dance correctly. <coughs> Chair dancing. Ah, she's gone. Now we can talk about the important I am things. Right here. What? I wasn't saying anything. I'm right 
Yeah. But I would have got away with it too. Hey, how can you hear me still? Because I have ears. Uh, so, how have all you been? Good? Good. You kind of sound like that, like when somebody goes in the closet and you keep hearing weird noises. I don't, I don't think I did. Huh. Nice girl. I'm glad you're not cut off anymore, bro. That's cool. This has been out in the garage, so it's going to be cold and you have to shake for two minutes. But this is the spray I use. Looks like I bought a different one. Oh well. All right, give me a second. Okay. So she's shaking, as you can hear. And then, uh, and then she'll spray that, and then she'll be back. So this is awkward. I, I really don't have anything prepared to entertain you with, so. But Val's got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, she's working like crazy on getting everybody's Christmas things out. Um, so she's in the studio for actually a long time every day working on that. And um, and then she's just working on all, all of her other projects as well. So it's been been quite busy. Are you done? Yep. See? Wow, that really brightened it up. Needs to dry, but. Ooh. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. <coughs> I was gonna do a live stream. But I did then it I very got high. quick. <laughs> I did it very quick. Very, very quick. Woo, boy. <coughs> it's the box more so than uh, the piece. Mm. The box soaks up the stuff. Marshall says, very beautiful. Thank you. Well, actually, I don't think they saw it yet. Cause I yeah, Kathy's in Arizona. Yeah. Did you? Let me tilt it because the, the light. Oh, I think the contractors are gone. That'd be nice. Okay, let's see. That's very pretty. Wow. The light. The gold is actually really convincing as gold. The little handle. That's like one of my favorite parts. It's weird, you know, because sometimes we put so much work into different things mm -hmm. and then like the simplest things Let maybe stand yourself. out. So We're getting glare right now, so. I'm not seeing it on here. So see, it did brighten up. It really did. It's funny too, because like when you started, it did look very dull. Um, oh, absolutely, it always does. And then... Varnish says, always makes a difference. Carmen always. says, looks great. And Sheila says, sing us a Christmas song. I'm not, not a good singer. <laughs> no. Um, Val says, looks wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Kathy says, sounds like canasta fun going on. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. I don't mind the smell, but I know it affects you. It does. So, like, if I'm exposed for, to it for too long... It will. Your brain gets freaked out. It will out. make make me loopy, and I will. Yeah, it does look a, a bit like gold. 
Yeah. So maybe I won't paint it with gold ink. I don't think I don't think there's any necessity. The color is going to actually get deeper the more I varnish it. This was just a UV spray to help uh, seal in the color so that when I'm doing my brush on stuff, it doesn't smear it. Plus, it adds an extra protection because I said the reds are two star, the yellows are two star, and the green are red or three star. But by adding this UV spray, and I will do another coat of the UV spray, it adds even more protection to the colors. But this one is actually, I just realized that, it is actually going to be in resin. This is the one I'm doing with resin. Mm. So it's still going to brighten up the color. And it's resin meant specifically for artwork, supposedly, on the box. Where's the box? Why am I still spinning? What's going on? <laughs> it's still spinning. Dr. Evil. What's going on? <laughs> yes, I had a Dr. Evil moment. I was looking... What box? For the resin box. I don't know. I'll be testing. So I need to do that. This week is long. And hey. also work on New Year's surprise presents. Gotcha. Oh, this is my brush. I'm just cleaning my brushes. So do we have any questions? No. Kathy wants to... Wants Sheila and Kathy want singing. <laughs> they want singing? Yeah. A very long time ago, I was in middle school choir that day. That's it. That's it. That's it. So next week, I will be burning um, a test board for the uh, watercolor pencils that I need to test. And I also need to put, I need to have a little burning at the bottom that I color so I can test those with different things and see how the colors do. And the purpose is not to, do, to be harsh on the watercolor pencils. It's so if you choose to go with these watercolor pencils, you know how to protect your work and you know what to expect. Not necessarily that they're bad pencils. And it would work with all watercolor pencils. So that would be the point. Ah, so tired. So tired. That white really pops. Mm -hmm. Really, really pops. I might add. I would have to add. Uh, God, why is everybody focused on singing? Oh, singing that happened. What did you do? I didn't do nothing. Did you tease them with a song? I did not. Look at me. Joey. I didn't. Did you tease them with a song? I did not. I see it right there. Did you tease them with the... Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! No song for today. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, cue up music for next week. I'll do, I'll do two, two phrases. All right. All right. No. What? No. No, not what you think. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, the weather outside is delightful. It makes Val's cursing frightful. <laughs> and everywhere we go, Val says, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Yes, I do. Yep. There you yes, go. Yes, I do. <laughs> and that's all year long. So. No. And in the summer, I don't ask for snow. It's June Rain. and we meet strangers. How are you doing? Why isn't it snowing? I'm sorry about my wife. <laughs> No, that's She not. likes the snow. <laughs> yeah, Carmen, you got the song. There you go. All righty. Oh, uh, Carmen says, uh, because I didn't know what to do when you went away. Oh. I had a moment. Gotcha. Yeah. That makes more sense. All righty. Well, you know what to say with us. Mm. You ready? You ready? Yeah. You're awesome. Snitches get stitches. You could do this. No. Why? Because you're a pyro artist. Yes, that. Happy burning, guys. Bye. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> What's snitches? Hmm?